In 2008, Julie Deanne and her mother Frida started the Cambridge Satchel Company at their kitchen table with a budget of only 600 pounds. They only had one goal in mind at the time, which was to send Julie's children to a better school. The company was an instant success. They were featured in Italian Vogue in the first year, and New York Times referred to the bag as the Brit It Bag. All the bags are still handmade today and made out of 100% leather. These bags are inspired by the past as they are a rendition of the traditional British school bag of years past. While the satchel is still their signature piece, Cambridge Satchel has expanded in their designs and believe they have something for everyone. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about bags. So if you clicked on this video, I assume you're a bag fanatic like myself and I would love to have you as part of our handbag fam. So do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification so you're notified every time I come out with a new video. But without further ado guys, let's get into the video but most importantly, let's get into the bag. Welcome back everyone. First and foremost, before we get into the Cambridge Satchel like the intro, um, I know I gave you a brief history. I want to address the giveaway. But first, before I announce the winner, I want to take a second and just say thank you to all of you. The comments were absolutely amazing. They were so empowering. They were so heartfelt. And honestly, guys, like it just reinforced um, why I do this and how much I love doing this. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, the comments had me in happy tears and truly, you guys made my, my day, my week, my month, and my year. They were everything and I just absolutely enjoyed them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I told you guys I would be drawing a winner on July 29th at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time and that is what I've done. I actually just put all of the names from the comments in a name generator online and it picked a winner. So Melanie Segovia, you are the winner. Congratulations, I hope you love 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 the gift basket so what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide my email address to you in the comments please feel free to send me a private message with your shipping info and I will get that basket off to you ASAP for you to enjoy but guys as this channel grows I promise to do far more giveaways as a way of saying thank you so again thank you I really really appreciate it and I just I loved reading all of them and I loved hearing all about your favorite bags so that leads me into this video because somebody actually gave me a very thought-provoking question not very long ago and that was Erica what are your top 10 favorite bags of all time so guys that was a really difficult question for me um, I've had a lot of bags throughout my lifetime and I just it's very difficult to pick a favorite um, especially one I know you I gave you guys such a difficult question um, but to pick my top 10 was so hard but as I'm moving and I get to go through my closet, um, it really gives me a chance to reminisce on the bags I've had and to really share with you some of the favorites that I have. And the Cambridge Satchel bag is one of them. I think on this channel we all appreciate a very good leather bag and I think we also appreciate a good leather bag from a very humble beginning in terms of company. And that is what this is. So you've got the brief history on Cambridge Satchel. It started off as a mother-daughter duo team starting at their kitchen table with 600 pounds to spend. And the purpose of the company was literally so the funds could put Julie's kids towards uh, a better education or give them a better education and I actually found out the story of Cambridge Satchel or their history actually after purchasing the bag so the way I received the bag and how it came to be in my collection is actually very special to me and I want to just quickly share with you back in 2018 my girlfriend presented the opportunity of going to London and London was one of those places I had always wanted to go I studied British history um, on my own free time or in my own free time in middle school and high school and even today um, I absolutely adore it and to have the opportunity to go it was just a lifetime dream come true it was something that had been on my bucket list for forever so the fact that I was able to go um, again I was just very very thankful very blessed in it, to have the opportunity to do so so we went in the end of November, early December of 2018. And right around this time, guys, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the remake that Netflix had done, had just recently come out that October. And Sabrina in the show carries this super cool 
very sleek, very trendy red satchel bag. And I saw it, I loved it, I had to have one. I actually did some Googling on what the brand was in the show and for the life of me could not find it. So if you know it, please let me know. But I just, I loved the bag, I fell in love with it. So when I went to London, something I said when I got there that I really wanted and I hoped I could find was a red leather satchel. So a couple days into my trip, we are actually in a place called Covent Gardens and there's a lot of fun shopping there, a lot of cool like unique boutiques. And sure enough, fate would have it, there was the spot for Cambridge Satchel. So I decided to just go in, check it out. I had never heard of it uh, in the States, so I love that kind of thing where I just I hadn't heard the brand, so I thought I'd go in. And guys, it was right around Black Friday time, so there was a huge sale, and everything in the store was 50% off. The one in Covent Gardens is a two-story store. There's the upstairs and downstairs. I checked out the whole thing, and I found this red beauty and I absolutely fell in love with her. Uh, she was sitting on a shelf. I just, I had to have it and at the time because of the sale it was 99 pounds and then the embossing which I had done extra was seven pounds I think. So I got away with probably spending around 130 USD just based on the conversions at that time which I thought for the size of this bag and just how beautiful it is uh, was a really good price. Um, now keep in mind the prices are not that on the website anymore. However, However, uh, they announce like kind of flash sales all the time so it's definitely something to look out for if you're interested in this bag. They do run sales and one of the reasons I am showing you guys this bag guys is that I understand I bought it in London. They don't have stores in the United States but they do ship to 120 countries. So for all of you watching whether you be in the United States or somewhere else they are accessible to almost everyone and that is why I wanted to show you. Uh, and also because I hadn't heard of this brand. I think it's so cool, it's so fun, and I just think we all should know about the Cambridge Satchel. So now let's just go over a little bit about the product, about the bag, and I wanna share with you my reviews and my pros and my cons after having this bag for almost two years at this point. So let's just go over dimensions first. So this is the 14 inch satchel. Now on the side, they do have the tiny satchel, the 13 inch, the 14 inch, and the 15 inch, and they also have what's called the batchel. So the batchel is a hybrid of a briefcase and a satchel, and it looks quite similar to this. They are usually a little bit bigger. I think they generally come in the 15 inch, but I think you can find it in varying sizes. Um, but they have a handle, quite like a briefcase, on the top. And it's, again, it has this very similar look. Now, the this again is a 14 inch satchel, so it's 14 inches wide. It's got a depth of three and a half inches and a height of nine and a half inches. Now guys, this has only a crossbody strap. And for reference, you guys kind of saw me try it on in the beginning of the video. I did, I kind of just hung it from my shoulder and then I did a crossbody look. For your reference, I am 5'5", and this is kind of like right in the middle of where the bag can be. So I've got a few holes to kind of make it shorter, and I've got, you know, for my taller girls, holes to make it much longer. I kind of like where it sits, like in terms of the middle hole, because I think it just sits in a perfect position on my body. I'm very pleased with that. The strap altogether is 54, 54 and a half inches in length, and the width is one inch so there is that now guys getting into the bag so for one thing i really want to know for you guys is that this is a magnetic closure i know it has the buckle detail which i think is really cool something to watch out for if you do decide to get this bag is that not all of the bags come equipped with the magnetic closure some of the buckles are not just the aesthetic they are actually the closure and the opening of the bag now there are pros and cons to buckles i think Pro buckles make it so that it's nearly impossible for anyone else to try and get in that bag if those buckles are secured securely. However, the kind of buckles for you as the wearer, I believe, is that you sacrifice speed in the bag. For example, if you're in the grocery store and you're trying to check out and you're really trying to get in and out and you don't want people waiting for you, uh, it is really difficult to unfasten those buckles to grab the wallet and then to put the wallet back and try and get those buckles on. I've had a buckled bag. I think they're fantastic aesthetically they're beautiful and like security wise they're fantastic but just overall buckles are really difficult so I loved that this bag had the magnetic closure um, but just again just beware that 
not all the bags are magnetic they do have the buckle feature but if that's not a deal breaker for you then by all means have at it it likely would not have been a deal breaker for me because I love the look of this bag so much but anyway continuing so you do have this front compartment here so um, it's not very big, but you know, it'll fit a cell phone, maybe a wallet or hand sanitizer, depending on how big the wallet is. And then you also have this uh, bigger compartment within. And then this is kind of the inside, it's unlined. It's got that suede feel, it's that rich red color. And I absolutely love it. So it's just such a really nice bag. Now, another thing I wanted to show you, because when I brought this bag back and I brought it to my firm, some of the female attorneys in the firm absolutely loved it as like a briefcase style for court now I think what's really nice to note about this especially for you ladies who are in business who need to have their you know laptops for whatever reason or you know you're in school you need your notebooks this does hold a 13 inch laptop so let me show you here for reference guys is my 13 inch laptop now you kind of have to put it in a little bit sideways so it'll sit like this but it does secure and it will fit so it is one mighty bag. It definitely um, holds more than you think. And then also, for my students out there who you know maybe want this bag for school, the notebooks also fit very well in here. So as you all know, that is my YouTube notebook and it will shut no problem. So this bag really does pack a punch in terms of larger items that you wouldn't actually think it would hold, it does. Now, let me go over the pros of this bag and then we'll go over the cons of this bag. Pro to this bag, I absolutely love the shape of this bag. I love the look of this bag. I think this bag is timeless. It will grow with me. You can use it anytime, anywhere, any place. I think you could dress it up, you can dress it down, um, and it's just absolutely stunning. I love the red bag. Um, I think red is just such a phenomenal color. I think it's just one of those punch colors that if you're really looking to like jazz it, red is just classy. Also, tidbit guys, um, I'm an Aries in my zodiac, and they say that Aries are best off carrying red. So I wouldn't say that that necessarily had a bearing on my decision, but I thought that was kind of a cool little fact and a tidbit. Um, I don't know how much it influences my luck or just my day overall, but I like the red anyway. So, but I, I, again, I just think this bag is a timeless classic look. Another thing I love the, about the bag is that it is a conversational piece. I've gotten so many compliments on this bag. Um, everybody who sees it loves it and they always ask me where I got it and the fact that it is handmade in London. Hey guys, editing Erica here. So I just wanted to make something very clear because I feel like I totally missed this in the video. The bags are handmade in Leicester, England, and I apologize if I pronounced that wrong. Not in London. I bought it in London. So I just wanted to make that very clear for you guys. So anyway, back to the video. Um, it's just such a very cool conversation starter and it just kind of gets the conversation going. So that is something I really love about it. Another thing I love about Cambridge Satchel in general is that these bags are really customizable. Um, red is not their only color available. They have black, they have brown, English saddle, they have red, they have ox blood. Um, and then in the tinier satchels, you can find all kinds of different colors. Um, literally any kind of color that you could think of. They just sent me an email actually about a lemon curd color that I just absolutely adore. Um, also having watched the Eurovision movie, I'm really into metallics lately and they have this awesome metallic color as well. So they just, they have every, something for everyone truly. Um, and if you're not really into the satchel look, they have the batchel and then they also have these really cool fun tote uh, bags and small purses and they also have like a doctor style bag too so definitely something to go check out if maybe the satchel isn't your style another thing I love about the structure of this bag is the fact that it is just that it is a structured bag um, I I love that when I go in here because it is not losing its form this leather is pretty firm um, you don't lose anything in this bag it's not folding in on itself the material of the bag itself is not loose so anything that you put in this bag you're not going to lose um, you really can just go in you 
kind of you don't have to dig uh, and you're never gonna overstuff this bag because of the structure so I just think that that's a really great option and also something to note too for you guys who are maybe looking to not necessarily downsize but you know maybe not throw everything in your bag this is a really nice option because it really doesn't allow you to overstuff the bag which is something that I really love about this bag now um, let's get into the cons because some of the pros are the cons in this bag for example the the magnetic closure I love it I think it's so easy and it's you know very accessible versus if it were buckles but something about the metal closure is that as you see if I try and like lift it these magnet these magnets are really strong so sometimes they will snap before I can get both and then when trying to close it guys sometimes they don't both close at the same time so again for speed that can sort of be a problem. But if I have one secured, I feel like I'm fine just trying to walk out of the grocery store. Um, is it a deal breaker? No, I don't think so. But you know, it is something to note that sometimes they don't strap both at the same time and it can kind of get a little annoying, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, another thing I dislike about this bag is that I do wish it were a little wider. Um, the three and a half inch depth does not leave for a lot of space. I wish it was like four and a half, five inches in depth. Um, I think you'd be able to pack a little bit more in here. And because again, the leather is stiff, it doesn't give very much. So that is one thing that um, if you like a bag with a good depth, this is one that um, you're really kind of limited in that. And again, because of how stiff the leather is and how structured the bag is, I don't really think the leather is gonna stretch all that much over time. So that is something to keep in mind. Now, another issue that I have with the bag, and if I were to be, like if I were to do it again, I may have gotten the batchel um, is when I go to take this bag off my crossbody for example or if I take it off my shoulder I tend to grab it and then put it on the seat next to me like for example in my car and I don't necessarily like that I'm grabbing it like this I wish I had that handle option to grab it by the handle and to place it neatly on my seat I don't necessarily like the fact that I'm grabbing this and doing that um, so that is one thing I wish it either had like you know shoulder straps or the handle so I had a better grip on the bag versus you know grabbing this but in all I think the bag the pros far outweigh the cons and this has just been such a fun bag it is one of my all-time favorite bags in my collection and I just think you all deserve to see it and she just deserves some love and a shout out so yes this is my Cambridge satchel bag I hope you guys loved it but anyway guys that's it for this video but remember life is short by the bag I'll see you next time